Welcome to my channel Trimit Kala. In this session we are going to do the modeling of the human lips. The basic blocking I am going to do in Maya and the sculpting process I am going to do it in ZBrush for the final detail. Before starting the modeling process, let's study the anatomy of the human lips. At the very beginning, we have to understand two things. First of all, we need to divide the entire lips part into four planes. This can be one line, this can be the second line and this can be the third line. So what are the four planes? Plane number one, plane number two going inside, plane number three coming out, again plane number four going inside. So plane number one, plane number two, plane number three and plan number four. So first of all I will do the blocking in Maya with these four planes and gradually I am going to add the anatomy to it. So let's check the anatomical areas in this. The thing we should remember can be this philtrum ridge. This is a philtrum area so this ridge we need to exaggerate so this is the first option we need to remember. Second thing is this. This is called the Cupid's bow. So this is also we need to exaggerate. Third option is these lines. These lines. Upper Vermilion line and lower Vermilion line. We need to remember this. And this corner and this corner the adjoining areas of the upper lip and the lower lip we need to remember this and finally the volumes it is very important so in the upper lip we can have three pillows so pillow number one pillow number two and pillow number three and at the lower lip we are having two pillows those are a little bit bigger so pillow number one and pillow number two so I'm going to exaggerate these volumes and the detailing small small wrinkles we can see this detailing in ZBrush. So let's start the modeling process in Maya. First of all let's take a polygonal plane, scale it up and rotate it 90 degree in the X axis. I'm reducing the spans of it so there will be two and two subdivisions scaling it down from the y-axis okay from this primitive I can start doing my modeling let's make the subdivision width up to 4 now by selecting the edges give it a cylindrical form okay this is fine now selecting all the faces together and extruding it pulling it out in a z axis to give it a thickness now selecting all the front faces again extruding it and modifying the shape actually trying to make it the middle line of the lips And placing it at the proper place now selecting the half and deleting and go to the duplicate special I am using instance I'm not using any group and making one copy and X scaling I am keeping it negative one so I am getting the other side so if I work at the right hand side simultaneously the left hand side will be updated by selecting the corner vertices I'm modifying it now selecting all the middle faces deleting it select all the edges of this opening and scale it down to make the opening a little bit narrower I'm going to the front view and now I'm going to draw the lips by using multi-cut tool I'm drawing the 
lip line okay here it is so this is going to be the size of the lips the corners we can see the quads and now I'm giving one edge loop and completing all the loops up to the opening of the lips okay this is fine now selecting the edges I'm making everything circular because the entire lips will be circular in shape now creating another edge loop and again modifying it and giving it a shape okay this is fine now let's select the edges of the upper lip going to the side view and pulling it forward to give the planes of the upper lip that is fine and modifying it a little bit to make it circular so that is the inclined plane of the upper lip now doing the same thing for the lower lip selecting the edges pulling it forward by selecting the vertices, modify it. Now let's modify the surrounding areas by selecting the vertices. Giving a circular loop around the lips. Why this circular loop is necessary? Because around the lip there will be the orbicular resoris muscle and lips movement will be done by this muscle that's why this is very important to give the facial expression to give the expression especially for the lips we need to create this circular loop one second modifying the shape by selecting the components Okay, so the four planes of the lips we discussed are ready. Now going to add the volume of the lips. So I am going to add an edge loop. Now selecting the middle edges, I am pulling it forward to get the volume of the middle pillow of the upper lip. Now doing the same thing for the lower lip by selecting the edges I am pulling it forward and a little bit upward and that is fine that is the volume of the lower lip and this is looking fine now let's exaggerate the cupid's bow and the vermilion line by inserting this loop at the corner of the lips I need to increase the distance a little bit so that I shouldn't get any sharp edge in that area the edges are quite smooth now I am deleting the duplicated side and selecting the object going to the mirror geometry option box and this is the positive X axis so I am selecting negative X and duplicate special at the middle you can see the edges are merged so I am going to the merge threshold option from the mirror history and making it 0 0.001 now this is fine now let's make the filtrum ridge area and very quickly I am doing some adjustment in that area. Now let's select these four faces and extrude it. I am scaling it down so that I can get the ridges sharper. Okay, this is looking fine. Now let's give another edge loop around the lips, circular loop and I am deleting it half, now duplicate special and now let's do some adjustments.
ok that's looking fine now select the half and delete I am going to mirror geometry and making the threshold 0.001 giving two more edge loops to make the edges sharper now coming to the opening of the lips and selecting the enter circular loop of that area and extrude in the global axis pushing it inside in Z again extrude and drag it now I think my model is ready for the further sculpting process so I am exporting my model in OBJ and I will import it in ZBrush so hitting the import button and let's browse my file and here is my model I am dragging and editing it and now I can sculpt it in ZBrush so going to the geometry and subdividing it a couple of times maybe up to fifth subdivision and uh, this is how the model is looking now and I'm going to sculpt on it and going to give detailing so I'll pause my voiceover and very quickly I'll sculpt it and I'll come back
okay so this is my final output for today if you want to extract the bump and displacement map for this model then one thing we should remember that uh, while what in Maya unwrap the model and then come to the ZBrush so that pipeline maybe I am going to show you in a different tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and thank you so much for watching.